So the last uh, thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do some stretches uh, to help with the, uh, with the muscles that surround the hip. Uh, the first one, we're gonna start from the back, work to the side, and then to the front. So the first one is gonna be the piriformis muscle. It's a muscle that runs right along the side of your buttock, and it deals with um, uh, external rotation of your leg, so it brings your leg out like that. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna bend your knee, and so I'm gonna be pushing. So we're gonna be dealing with this, stretching this muscle here. So we're gonna be pushing towards the shoulder, and then we're gonna rotate the ankle in. And then I'm gonna have her push her ankle against my hand while I resist. By doing this, and then relax, it allows me to push it a little bit further and get a better stretch. So do that again, and relax. And you can see I'm able to go a little bit further each time. One more time, and relax. Good. So that's the back, um, most popular muscle that we can stretch for the back of the hip. Now for the side of the hip, we're gonna be doing, uh, stretching out the IT band, which is right here along the side. So if we're gonna be stretching the right leg, we'll cross the left foot over, and then we're gonna move this leg out a little bit, put our knee against her ankle. We're gonna hold this in place, and then I'm just gonna push against her ankle. Now you push against me, and relax. Push against me, relax, and one more, and relax. And so that really helps to, to stretch that side muscle out. Now the last one is going to be the uh, hip flexor, or the psoas muscle, which runs right here, and it allows you to pick your, uh, your leg up like that. So I'm gonna have you uh, come a little bit closer. Now people that sit a lot, this is a, this is a popular uh, tight muscle. Uh, if you're sitting all day, it tends to shorten that muscle, so we really need to get a good stretch. And if that muscle is tight, it can create all kinds of havoc in the pelvis and the hip region. All right, so let's scoot all the way, I'm sorry, come all the way to the end here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go, now lay back. All right, I'm gonna have you, so we're gonna be stretching the right leg, so I'm gonna have her grab the left leg here, and scoot down a little bit more if you can. There you go, that's good. All right, now we're gonna push up here, and you can see that this kind of pops this leg up. So when it does that, we're gonna push down here, and that gets a good stretch right in here. So I'm pushing down, and I'm gonna have her push her knee up against my hand, and then relax. Again. Relax. One more. Relax. Now the key to this stretch is you need to have them near the end of the table so that we have some room to push down below the table. Let's go ahead and sit on this. So those are things that we can do here in the office. There's also uh, stretches that you can do for those muscles at home. So if you wanna, just basically you can Google psoas stretch, piriformis stretch, or IT band stretch and you'll find a bunch that you can do on your own. It is a little bit more effective if we're able to do that here in the office or if you have a partner that can help you with those. Uh, so if you do have any questions or if you uh, have anybody that you think might benefit from this video, make sure that you comment um, in the comments below, like or share or maybe even tag someone that you think might be dealing with some hip pain. And if you have any questions for us here at the office, give us a call at 726-0422 or visit us online at wellnessspringfield.com. And we'll see you next week.